Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you all my brand new hobby. And I must say hobby, it's definitely a new interest and I've bought everything I need but I haven't started it yet because I wanted to share my um, like new haul with you all and then just go through it a little bit and then um, show you everything I've bought before I start using it. Um, so I was on Facebook a couple of weeks ago and one of my friends um, shared a photo of something that she had made using resin um, and she'd made a bangle. And I just thought well, that's really, really pretty. And I start looking into it more and like resin craft is just massive. I had no idea about it. Um, you can do all sorts. You can make coasters, table, furniture, just little key rings, jewellery, pictures, honestly, all sorts. It's stunning and it's so very, so different. And um, so it really, really grabbed me. Um, plus, I have a lot of things that already from my um, past crafty life that I can probably incorporate into it. So, yeah, I started researching it. I've watched loads and loads of videos on YouTube and then I'll follow a whole range of different people now on YouTube, which is really, really exciting. Um, I've joined a few Facebook groups and I'm following quite a few people on Instagram as well. So I've really done some research about it. What I didn't realise is epoxy resin, like is so expensive to buy. Um, you will see when I show you my haul, like, I nearly died, it is expensive. Um, but, you know, it's fine, it's fine. If it's something that I want to do, then we'll sort of see how it goes. And then um, I'm probably sh I'm sure I'll like, find cheaper suppliers and things as I go. Um, so yeah, I'm a brand new person to resin. I've never ever um, used resin in any of my crafts in the past, so I have no clue. So I thought it'd be really, really good just to show you what I've bought with links um, down below so in the drop down box I'll link everything that I have bought um, for this haul and I'll explain why I've bought the things I've bought and um, yeah then I'm going to start going from here on just doing videos like I'll just make videos of um, of what I make and how I make them and I'm sure th some things will like turn out absolutely dreadful some things may be fabulous but I think it's going to be a real learning curve. So if you are brand new to um, resin yourself, or if you already just enjoy doing it and like watching other people's videos, I would really, really love it if you could subscribe to my channel and um, click the bell, and then you'll know when I upload a video. Um, I don't have an upload schedule. I'm quite erratic with my um, uploads. I like to just do it as I want to, rather than having to be a chore. So, um, but I really, really want to film this as I learn. And also, then if I make something that turns out amazing, I've got a reference for myself about how I did it. <laughs> so there is method in my madness. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll have a look at everything and then um, we'll have a chat. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this and then um, I'll have a chat with you at the end. Okay, let's have a look and see what I bought. Right, so first of all, I need to apologize for my very disgusting looking bruise. I was taking Ruby, my dog, out two days ago for her walk and um, I wasn't even out of the house and she pulled on her lead and um, she caught my hand on the door frame and it's um, really, really sore. So yeah, that's what that's. So apologies for my um, disgusting looking bruise. So the first thing that I needed to get was, well, the main thing really is obviously choosing your resin. Um, I did put a post on a couple of Facebook groups to ask people's advice on what their best resin, resin was. And loads of people recommended this resin by Resinate. And um, I'll link it down below. Resin is really expensive. So this is a two-part resin. I've got this one because it's quite um, an all-rounder. So it does here, as you see, for moles, river tables, which I will not be doing. Jewellery. It dries really, really nice and clear. It's also, um, well, the class is non-toxic. Um, so it's got a very low sort of fuse, like very low fumes. Um, and as long as you're not really pouring in large quantities, she's sort of pretty okay without a respirator. Make sure your room is well ventilated. I am going to get a respirator. Um, I'm getting one from Screwfix in a couple of days. I haven't yet done any resin, so don't worry. I am not um, poisoning myself. But this is quite a safe um, resin. But a lot of them, you really, if you're working with large volumes, um, you really need to wear your respirator. But yeah, so that's this. So there was this one, which is like the, the crystal clear, and it's good for all sorts of things. So then I thought I might get a doming resin as well for like the back of some of my keychains and things I'm going to make. Um, all this will become clear in future videos. So I bought this one. So this is only a really small little bottle. So this one, how much is this in total, this volume? Let me get my little sheet. Oh. So 
this is one and a half liters this one is it comes as a 300 grams and then i bought from resonate as well this um opaque um white pigment um, and i've got that because to help change some of my other dyes and things but i'll explain more about that in future videos now these three things now i did get um eight pounds 69 discount because it was a um signing up 10 percent discount those three things came to 78 pounds and 16 pence like this is like 56 quid without that it is not cheap i nearly died <laughs> so anyway yeah i think there are much cheaper resins on amazon and things and i'll i'm gonna sort of explore those maybe buy smaller ones and try them out but i just wanted something that i knew was gonna be reliable and safe especially because i'm brand new to it so i was prepared to pay that amount but it is a dear hobby so anyway this is the main sort of pricing i think so that's my resins. I'm just gonna put these to one side and then I'll just, I got carried away on Amazon and oh, it's terrible. You start looking at things. Um, so what have I got here? I nipped into, um, was it B&M Bargains, I think. So I've just got some um, little baby wipes just to help tidy up some spills and things like that. So that's those. Um, I also picked up some cocktail sticks, which you will see why if you're new to resin. And again, these are just really cheap ones. I think they're only about a pound. Um, I got a pack of um, different lighters. I thought it was quite good. Two ninety nine for a pack of three. So this helps you um, pop the bubbles in your resin. Um, I also have a heat gun from my crafting days, which is really handy. So I'm going to compare the two and see which I prefer. Um, so yeah, these look quite handy. Um, I've picked up some just 2300 mil um, like little beakers. And again, just for mixing larger volumes of resin. And what I did find out um, by looking at the videos, if it has this little symbol here, like the five and then the PP, underneath then your resin won't stick to the container to that plastic so that's really good to know um now i'm going to link as i say um anything that i bought from amazon or um etsy or anywhere like that online i will link everything down below or if i can't find the exact one i'll link similar um i've ordered some little key rings um I do plan on making some key rings. I really like the look of them. I'll pop you a little picture here of the things that I'm liking. So, yeah, these are just little keychains that you can attach to whatever it is that you make. And then you can add it on as a bag charm or for your keys or whatever. So, I got those from Amazon, I think. And then I ordered these. And these are... Um, so these are like jewellery findings and they are um, like flat bales. Um, let's get them open and I'll show you them. Okay. So you can attach these to the back of pendants if you're making necklaces, your key rings. Um, so... I got quite a, a variety pack. They were quite well priced, actually. So you can see there, it's just like a little heart, that one. And they are flat, so you can attach that to the back of your project. And then the um, either your chain or one of these can attach to that. And there's lots and lots of different ones, little hearts and leaves, circles, rectangles. So I thought that was quite nice squares. It's a good selection. That's going to last me forever. And then it comes in a nice little case. And then if I just get smaller ones, you know, little smaller kits anywhere, I can just top them up. Um, I also ordered some lolly sticks um, just for mixing. Um, you better get these anyway. Obviously, it's really difficult. I've ordered loads of stuff online just because we can't be popping to the shops um, because of all the lockdown rules and everything. Otherwise, I'm sure you could just normally go out and get these in your local supermarket or pound shop or whatever. But yeah, I ordered those online. Again, those will last me for ages. Now I've got this kit of, so there's 15 colors of epoxy resin pigment. Um, 
what does it say here? Is there anything? It says made in China. Don't know, but what do you use things that aren't water based because um, apparently resin doesn't like water based things. So these are my um, dyes, and there's a right nice mix of colours. Um, and you don't need very much of these in when you, you put it in. And yeah. I don't know if I should be talking about it as if you don't know, because I'm sure lots of people like already know anyway, you might be watching it. But I'm going to just talk as if you've never done resin before. I'm just, I don't understand everything. This is only as far as I understand. So yeah, you can pop a couple of drops in. It might be quite um, clearish. And that white dye pigment I bought earlier, you can put a tiny drop of that in and it'll make it like an opaque solid colour rather than a transparent colour. Yes, yeah, so I think that's right. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are just like pigment dyes. And they are specially designed for resin. These weren't very much, well, they weren't much compared to some of the bigger brands. So I've got no idea if these are good or not. But I just wanted to have a little go. Um, I also ordered some alcohol inks. And some of the things I've seen with alcohol, ink, al ugh, alcohol inks look amazing. Um, you can get some beautiful looking things, especially at coasters and things like that. So this is a really good selection, 22 colours, um, and there is some white, which I was really pleased about. Um, there's a white and a cream, and the white helps to sink the colours down to the bottom. Honestly, I'll pop a little picture in here of things you can achieve with your alcohol inks. You can also use it to dye your resin um, and to stain it as well. So I want to know if it works as a similar way to the pigment dye if I need both if I just need one or the other um if alcohol inks work just like the pigment dyes I'll probably in future just buy the inks because there's definitely lots of things I want to do with these um I saw this just in the shops and um this is in home bargains I think um and so I just picked it up and it's like a cake decorating set but I just like the fact there's all these little tools and I thought they may come in handy <laughs> i don't know if i need them or not but it looks like something that i could probably use so i just picked it up even if it's for mixing or spooning it into the mold or swirling some designs it does look like a good mixture of things and that's just a um a cake decorating kit and then i picked up these um these little party platters there's three they're quite big and um, the 2 dollars and i thought because they're nice and solid so if i've got any like um silicon molds on them i can sit them on that and then i can move it to a different surface without disturbing the mold so that was my theory behind that purchase um this has just arrived today and i'm really excited this is a kit i got and i wanted an alphabet um mold um and this is really important when you um use your molds the side that's on the bottom is actually the good side and um so if your alphabet's back to front that means when you pop them out they'll be good side up if you have them where it looks as if they're all the right way around as you look at it sort of like that um then it means that the um the good side's going to be underneath. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Something else I learned is that your mould, if it's a shiny mould, it means that you'll have a, a nice glossy finish on your resin. If it's a matte mould, um, your finish will be matte. Um, so yeah, it sort of picks up the finish of the surface of whatever the mould is. Um, so this is quite a good little kit. Let me open it up. It's I mean, you don't need all this stuff, but I have a very clear idea of what I want to do. Um, I want to make like little keyring charms with letters, which is why I've got this. Um, so I just knew if I got this, I'm going to use this stuff. Um, and it's just the sort of thing that seems to interest me. In here, you've also got a few other little things, which is quite good. So there are these um, like pipettes. And I think nice they've got measures on them. So that's really good. So once you've mixed your resin, you can um, obviously measure up so much and then pop it into your mould so you know that you're getting the same amount. So there's um, five of those. Um, there's some little lolly sticks to get you started. Um, so there's just a few lolly sticks. 
there are a sort of like some well, I'd say silver, but they're not very silvery silver, and some like brass type little um screws that you can pop in the top of your um finished resin shape so you can then attach a bale or something else to that they're quite small loops though but i'm sure i have to use them for something um this is good there's a couple of little um how many well, there's quite a few little mixing pots are these taped down or they just i can't even get them out that will it come out blimey why can't I get them out? <laughs> Are they tight? Oh, look, gosh, they're really tight. There's quite a few in there. They're really flimsy. There we go. So that's good. You've got little um, mixing tubs. And then you can pour the resin. It's actually quite like them. I think that's a really handy little thing. And it'll help you be a bit more precise with your pouring. So I'm not sure how many is in there. There's quite a few. Quite a few. So, yeah, that's quite good. Now, let's look at this mould. I cannot wait to get started. I've got so many ideas. So many ideas. Okay, so that feels quite nice. And it is a glossy surface. I'm really relieved. And it's good because you've got the... Um, see, there you've got all your letters plus your numbers. And I suppose you could also make up words and have them sat on a little windowsill or something. So... I really, really like this. I'm really excited to use it. And this is definitely one of my must-haves that I really, really wanted. Okay, the next mod I really wanted is this one. And I got it from a, a store on Etsy called Glitter and Gore UK. Um, and this has come really, really quickly. Um, so I'll, put, I'll um, pop a link down below to their um, shop. And they've just popped these little um, bat little things shaker things in for free which is really cute um and this uh, this is called a puffy heart mold if you um don't know and this is a really popular mold design um i've seen so many things made of this and this was again a must have for me i really really wanted it so yeah this is a nice glossy one as well and this makes beautiful beautiful key rings um, I've seen so many different designs so inspirational and I just think they're gonna be really nice as little gifts and things and um, so I'm really excited to have this one um, now I ordered this mold um, and this came literally within a day or two of Amazon and these are like for like cakes as well they're in the bakeware section but this is a silicon mold it's a shiny surface and I've got this to make coasters you can buy them in like threes strips of three but I wanted um six because I thought often you do coasters either in sets of four or six but this way as well you could do a set of four as one design and maybe just a set of two as a different design whilst you're pouring um and so yeah you can have a set of four set of two or three sets of two so I thought it was a bit more versatile and um, they're a really nice size and yeah so that's that so I feel like I'm really set with my um molds these are without doubt the three main ones I want there's just one more that I want which is like the um like for the agate and um, like the, is it geo what do they call them geodes geos oh I can't remember what they call them but um it's like a it looks almost like, um, like an agate, like a slice of, of rock, of polished stone, um, and it's in four. And that's my only other one that I really, really desperately want at the moment. But I want to give this a go first and see how I get on. Um, now, I ordered this kit off of Amazon, and it looked much bigger, I will not lie. <laughs> um, online, when I looked at it, and it arrived, it's this. I was like, oh, that's a bit small. But um, we'll go through it anyway and show you. And in all fairness, I actually did go back on Amazon and have a look. And the measurements that I've shown on the website are actually correct. So it's just me um, being fooled by their photography and not looking properly at the sizes. Um, but it has got a good mixture of, of things in here. Um, so it's got this little um, bag anyway, which I'm not sure if that's any good or not. But anyway, there's a little bag. And then this is everything in here. So we have got... So these are tiny, however, so you can see here, they've got little tiny shapes 
but these will be really really good for jewelry for earrings or rings because you can see they're a nice little size and they are they look like they are shaped like gemstones um you can't tell properly but from what I can see, they look like little gemstones, so they could be good. If you've got a tiny bit of resin left in your pot, rather than throwing it out because it's obviously so dear, you could mix in a bit of colour or a bit of sparkle and just put the leftover resin into these and then just save them for another project. So that's the first part of the kit. Um, again, there's some more little um, loopy things, little screws. These look a much better size, as you can see, compared to those, which are diddy. Um, so they'll be quite handy. Um, so some like brass ones and some silver ones. These are just little tiny shapes. It's like a little kitty, um, a tiny square, a tiny, what's that? Is that a hexagon and a triangle? So little tiny shapes. No idea what you'd use them for. Maybe earrings. I don't know. Or shakers. So these are quite good. You can make these into pendants, um, I suppose, or key rings. And you can put like dried flowers in them or just um, glitter, um, stickers, words, anything like that. And what I quite like about these is they've got the little bit in the middle to make the hole so you don't have to drill a hole through. So they've already got that in there. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And then I have got no idea what that is. I'll leave that there for now. It's just a little, it's a little circular one. I don't know what you, is it a ring? It might be a ring. It could be for a resin ring, maybe. Um, and then we've got some more ones again, which can be used for pendants. So they're quite nice shapes. I have seen some nice things made with things like this as well. So they look a bit nothingy here, but once you start creating, they can be amazing. Um, now, I think this is a bangle, but that looks really small. My hand won't go in there. So maybe for a child, or maybe you could make like napkin rings with it. I don't know. Um, That's too small for a bangle for me. I'm certain of that. But that's what it is, I think. Um, We've got some glitters. Um, So there's a really nice mix. Got some holographic ones, all different colours. And I've seen, honestly, you pop a bit of this in your resin and it just seems to colour the whole resin. Um, it can create some really nice looks. So I think that's a really nice little thing. You've got a little bit of everything. I'm not sure how long these will last. Time will tell. Um, I've got some more of these um, pipette things. So that's good. So I should have plenty of those. They look this small. Yeah, they're smaller than the other ones. So I suppose I've got a smaller amount. They'll be handy. Um, so yeah, I've got those. It's actually not a bad little kit. I think it's about eighteen pounds. This kit, so you get quite a lot in it. Um, now these, oh heck, so these are little pendants, and it's all different shapes. We've got a square, a diamond, a oh hexagon, a circle, and I don't know what that is. It's a bit of a shape like that <laughs> so that's those and you just fill them up and you can pop little flowers and all sorts in they're really pretty um this is handy it's a little um drill little hand drill with different drill bits and you can just drill your holes into your shapes to make an attachment and um, i've got some little spoons and things what have we got here so yeah so just a mix of little spatulas and things i suppose just to get out your glitter and then you can scoop these out i quite like these and um, so yeah that's all of those so let me get rid of this and then we'll have a look at what i picked up in the range okay so i've got this big bag here from the range i was actually there doing a different shop and i picked these up whilst i was there so i didn't go especially for this but whilst i was there i thought i might as well use my time wisely um so I got some really good things actually from the range. I was really pleased and I wish I'd picked up something else. I'll show you first of all, I got these two massive tubs of like fine glitter. So I got this like white holographic one and this silver one and there was a gold one and I wish I'd got it. And these were five pounds each, which I think is amazing. They should last for ages, but I know I'm going to use glitter um, 
I just know I'm going to use loads of glitter. So I figured I might as well just buy a big tub of the colours I know that I'm going to use. And I've got these little confetti things, which I thought were really pretty. I think these are only a pound. And they're just little holographic hearts. And they're really nice in the key rings, um, like in those puffy hearts. Um, so I thought that was really nice. I've got a couple of those. Um, and I got some little red ones as well. I got some um, shot glasses. Um, again, just really handy to use as a tiny mixing pot. Um, I got a couple of other packs of glitter, um, which I thought this was a bit handy just because there is a really good selection of colours. Um, I can't remember how much these were. Let me have a little look. But I think there was another kit, but the other kit was quite a lot of like gold and there wasn't much variation between them. Um, these were £2.50 a pack, which I thought was really, really good. Um, so it's like six um, pots in each set. So yeah, I really, really liked that. I thought they were really, really nice. I picked up some rainbow stickers and I don't know if these will work. But I really want to try and make a rainbow key ring for some of my friends at work. Because we're nurses, so we're all in the NHS. And I thought it'd be really, really nice if we could have like a little um, key ring each. Just to sort of um, yeah, remind us of all our fabulous teamwork. Um, oh, some more little holographic things. But these ones are little holographic stars. Just little confettis. So it doesn't have to be specifically for your resin. All these things, you know, you can just use in your crafts and then the last thing i picked up was a tub of mod podge so this is really good i've seen it because you can help to seal anything that's paper or like your paper flowers artificial flowers you can paint it with this it will then make it waterproof and it should sort of help it look a lot better in your resin wow that's it i've spent a fortune <laughs> um i've got no idea how much i've spent but it must be a couple of hundred pounds, mustn't it? Which is mental. Let me turn you around and we'll have a chat. <laughs> oh, there. Right. So I'm so happy I filmed this video. I was just waiting for everything to come. And the last slot came today just because I wanted to just do one video of my starting point of my journey into resin. Um, there is a lot there, but... If I'm gonna do it, I don't wanna to have to buy like just the resin and like one mold and then get bored of it and it just all go to waste. So I want to give it a really good go, trying different things, which is why I've got like the different molds and um yeah, and like the glitch and things. I know I'm gonna use them, I just know. Um I did have some um mica powders, mica mica powders in as well, and then I cancelled that off because I'd seen on um, some of the other um, videos saying that I actually can use eyeshadow and things. Plus I already have some mica powders from when I was crafting. Um, let me just have a quick look here to see if I can see them. So I've got, where are we? Oh, I've got lots of other things. Um, hang on a wee sec. Ta-da. Right, so yeah, I've got other things this here. Like I've already got like these glitters, which I've got from a crafting. I've got loads of glitters in there. Um, again, a more chunky glitter. I've got some really fine glitters. Um, I've got some like little mica powders. Um, I've got um eyeshadows, like loose eyeshadows, which are, like shimmery and are very light the mica powders. Plus, I've got a really um I, I bought once a like a big um eyeshadow palette thing there's honestly loads and loads and loads of different colors and shimmers so i'm gonna try those in resin and see what happens and see if if it works or not but i think it's, it's safer adding powders in than liquids and you're less likely to have problems with your resin setting if it's a powder form um so let me pop them there i'm dead excited um i cannot wait to get started so do let me know if you have tried um making things with resin before or if you're interested and then um, yeah I would love it if you follow me I seem a bit mad just now but it's just because I'm really excited <laughs> I am so excited look at all this fabulousness so yeah I mean hopefully my resin is going to last me a while Um, I'm planning on just making quite small projects and I definitely want to just get used to mixing different things into it and trying to see different results I've got loads and loads and loads of um 
flowers and things so i don't know if paper flowers are going to work for flowers i'm going to try all of that we'll have a try we'll see what happens and then um, it's going to be a real experiment i cannot wait um i am going to probably film as i say everything i make so i hope you like resin um i'm still going to be doing my beauty things and other crafting things um in between so Fear not, plus my colouring, because yes, I've got all my colouring stuff as well. So yeah, I'm going to be busy, but um, I'm really thankful and grateful that you have stopped by to watch my video. Thank you so much. Don't forget, everything's linked down below if there's anything you're interested in. I've also got a link to, um, I've got like an Amazon shop. It's not me selling it, it's just a place where I can um, save all my favourite things. So there'll be a link in there and I'll probably pop one in as resin. Um, so yeah, you can go that way and it might be a quick way to look. So thank you so much. Take care. I might be back tomorrow with my first thing that I've made. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.